Winnie the Pooh, Pooh's Secret Garden. One sunny spring morning, Winnie the Pooh woke up with a rumbly in his tumbly. Oh, bother, he said. I seem to be all out of honey. Now what is a hungry bear to do? Think, think, think. Pooh was a bear of very little brain, but with his tummy's help, he soon came up with an idea. He wandered through the hundred-acre wood to a tidy house beside a tidy garden. Then he knocked on the tidy door, and Rabbit answered. He was just about to do some gardening. Gardening looks like very hard work, Rabbit, Pooh said after a while. Are you sure it's not time to stop for a small smackerel of honey? Quite sure, Pooh, Rabbit replied. Would you mind handing me that watering can? Not at all, Rabbit, said Pooh. When he picked up the watering can, several buzzing bees flew out from underneath. There are bees in your garden, Rabbit, Pooh exclaimed. It wouldn't be much of a garden without them, Rabbit said. Plants need bees' help to turn their flowers into vegetables. I wouldn't know much about that, Pooh said. All I know is that where there are bees, there's sure to be honey, Pooh continued. He followed one of the bees, hoping to find some honey. All he found was the bee sipping nectar from a flower. Yes, Rabbit said. Bees need flowers to make honey. They do? Pooh squinted at the bees. Of course they do. It's no secret, Pooh. I see, Pooh said. If you'll excuse me, Rabbit, I have some very important thinking to do. He hurried out of Rabbit's garden and through the wood. Pooh was thinking so hard that he nearly walked straight into a cloud of dust. He waved his arms to clear the air and found Piglet. He was doing some spring cleaning. You're looking thoughtful today, Pooh, Piglet said. I've just learned that bees need gardens to make honey. Pooh leaned closer, and I heard it was a secret. So you're going to plant a secret garden? Piglet whispered. Pooh nodded. Shall we search for a secret spot to plant it? The two friends began searching for spots. But they found stripes instead. What are you two exploragating? Tigger asked. Pooh told Tigger about his secret garden. All we need is the perfect spot, he finished. Well, you found it, Tigger exclaimed. He bounced up. It's just right, Pooh said. Now I suppose I'd better, er, uh, that is, it must be time to. Oh, bother, he scratched his head. What exactly is it that I'm supposed to do now? Piglet and Tigger had no more idea than Pooh did. So all three of them went in search of someone who was likely to know all there was to know about secret gardens. And most everything else, too. The friends went to see Owl. Do you know how to go about planting a secret garden, Owl? Pooh asked hopefully. Certainly, Owl said. My great-aunt Eunice used to mention such matters quite frequently. In any case, I'm sure I have something here that will tell us exactly what to do. He led the way to his bookshelves and pulled out a large volume. Is that a book about secret gardens? Piglet asked. Precisely, Owl said. Let's have a look, shall we? Of course, this is a cookbook, not a book on gardening said Owl with a ruffle of his feathers. What we need are seeds. Let's go borrow some from Old Long Ears, Tigger said. They all went to Rabbit's house. What do you need with seeds? Rabbit asked when he heard what they wanted. It's a secret, Pooh said. I suppose we could tell you if... Here, Rabbit said, just take the seeds. The friends returned to the site of Pooh's secret garden. Owl supervised while the others got started. Pooh didn't know much about planting seeds, but following Owl's instructions, he dug up a patch of dirt and dropped several seeds into the hole. 
Pooh and his friends were still planting seeds when Kanga happened by. Oh my, she said, you all seem to be working very hard. Let me bring you something to drink. She soon returned with a pitcher of lemonade. Thank you, Mrs. Kanga, Piglet said politely. The lemonade is delicious. It sure is, Tigger agreed. But what we really need is someone to help with all this digification. Kanga smiled. Rue and I might be able to help with that too, she said. With help from Piglet, Tigger, Owl, Kanga, and Roo, Pooh soon had his secret garden planted. Now we need to wait for the plants to grow, Owl said. Pooh smiled, and then I'll have all the honey I can eat. He patted his tummy to tell it to be patient. And then they waited, and waited, and waited some more. Weeks passed. The plants grew like weeds and bees started buzzing around the flowers. But there was no sign of honey anywhere. Where could the honey be? Pooh wondered aloud. He lifted a leaf, searching for any sign of tasty golden honey, but found a tomato instead. It wasn't honey, but it still looked delicious. Your secret garden was a delicious idea, Pooh, Piglet said. Yes, it was. Pooh sighed. It would be even tastier if it would just grow some honey. Just then, Roo arrived with Rabbit. I told Rabbit about your garden, he said. Pooh nodded. That's fine, since Rabbit is the one who told me about the secret that makes gardens grow honey. If only I knew the secret of where bees hide it, Pooh added. Rabbit looked confused. There's no secret to that. All you have to do is follow the bees to their hive. Look, there goes a bee now, Roo exclaimed. They watched the bee until it flew into a stump. Pooh pulled back some loose bark and found honey. It seems the bees in Pooh's secret garden had a secret of their own. After that, the honey wasn't a secret anymore, and neither was the garden. Pooh's friends stayed busy picking tasty vegetables. The bees stayed buzzy, sipping nectar from the flowers. And Pooh stayed happy and rather sticky, collecting all the honey he could eat.